how do you get a job in this crazy environment that is society right now? Listen, technology is transforming. We have self-driving cars coming here. They got a fleet in Pittsburgh and San Francisco. We're gonna have AI coming within the next decade or so. We have blockchain technology, we have AR, VR, we have robotics, we have automation. So a lot of jobs are gonna be lost. Millions and millions of jobs are gonna be lost. Exact same time though, millions and millions of new jobs will appear uh, because new industries will be built overnight. So the question I always get in the comments is, you know, what are the best skills to get a job? So I'm actually kind of making this video for the younger people uh, who's watching this. Maybe people who are like 16, 17, or maybe people who are in university, but the mindset matters the most. So traditionally speaking, what most people would focus on is a degree. They would go to college, university, they get this degree on the wall and they think that degree will guarantee you a job, but that's not the case. Statistically speaking, actually, I think it is 25%. 25% of the jobs that you enter into school will be obsolete by the time you leave school. Technology is moving so fast, industries are moving so fast, what they actually teach you in school is not the necessary skills that you need for in real life. You see, there's theory, that is the books, what they teach you, and there's real life. Dealing with humans, dealing with the marketplace, and dealing with the whole global economy. So my suggestion for anybody looking for a job, it doesn't matter if you're 15, it doesn't matter if you're 35, it doesn't even matter if you're 65, is numero uno. The number one thing you need, number one, is to stand out. Seth Godin talks about this as becoming a linchpin. Because listen, there are thousands and thousands of other people just like you. So let's say that company over there has a job opening, thousand other people are applying for the job. So what makes you so different? You're gonna be like everybody else, like a robot. Uh, here's my resume, I hand in my resume. How are you different for everybody else? You're just, you're a sheeple. You're just following the sheep like everybody else. The number one thing that you need to do is stand out from everybody else. Another quote or another idea from Seth Godin is becoming the purple cow. You know, we're driving on the countryside, we see black and white, black and white cow, all of a sudden a purple cow, you're like, whoa, what the fuck, a purple cow, boom, that sticks out. So what are you doing to stick out? I saw this not too long ago, a dude sent his resume in a cool format in the fucking Krispy Kreme donut box. Of course they're gonna open up the Krispy, Krispy Kreme donut box inside the corporation. They opened up, his resume was there, so he stood out, he did things differently. I've had this one person before, uh, I knew him, he, and this is my suggestion to a lot of people, he actually did analysis or pre-analysis of the company. So he was in marketing and he did pre-analysis of the company and actually made a whole portfolio of what's wrong with the company, how he can improve the company, the, the strategies, the tactics, how he's gonna execute, and he handed it in as a resume. As opposed to like, here's my skills. No, I've actually showed you what I can do. So the number one thing is stick out, figure out some ideas, whether that is like maybe Figure out who the CEO is and send them on LinkedIn and be like, hey, I'm really interested in this field. I'd love to take you out for dinner or something like that. Like, make yourself, make yourself really stand out from the rest of the crowd. Number two, uh, meta learning, okay? So we're always gonna learn, whether you went to uni, college, or such as myself, I'm uh, autodidactic, so self-learning, online learning, learning through people is, you need to have the power of meta learning. So society and, uh, the whole ecosystem that is the job force, global job force, it changes rapidly on a day-to-day -day basis. And what you learned last year, whether that is in certain development is gonna change next year. What I learned this year in marketing is obviously gonna change next year. But having the love of meta-learning and understanding how to condense information and then to organize that information. Now, everybody learns differently. You have, you have kinesthetic learning, so aesthetic learning. People, they have to feel and touch and be in the presence. Then you have auditory learning where people learn from hearing such as TED Talks or lectures or Audible. Then you have visual learners. Learners have to see actually what's going on on the board or on a piece of paper. Uh, then you have people that combine all that and that's where the meta learning, if you can figure out how to combine the kinesthetic, the aesthetics, the auditory and then the visual all together, you can learn better and figure out, you know, uh, what, what way you works best with you. Uh, and then once you have that love of meta learning, everything else becomes easy because if new things come around, uh, you get a coach, you get a mentor, or you pick up some classes and you learn about it and you absorb it fast, 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 fast. And Elon Musk talks about, you don't need to know everything. You just need to know the principles, the basics of it. So what is the basic philosophy behind this? What is the basic philosophy behind that, okay? So that's number two, is meta learning. Now number three, and they don't teach this in school, Actually, they don't teach this anywhere. It's really difficult. You, this is almost like you have to learn from your mistakes, uh, but they teach this in books. Certain books definitely uh, teach, teach this. Empathy, understanding human dynamics and human chemistry. 
uh, because you can be the smartest at what you do, but you're not a people's person, you're not gonna really fit in the culture of the company. And culture is coming, becoming really more important uh, in startups and corporations out there. So I really, really suggest that you understand the fact of like human empathy. IQ, fuck IQ, I don't give a shit about IQ, but I care about EQ. I care about a person's uh, spiritual belief systems, you know, morality, ethics, and how they deal with other people. You know, you don't wanna be hanging around with people or being a company that your boss or employees put you down or maybe you don't get along with your employees or, or it's a very vile, negative environment. So if you have the power of empathy, you can connect on a human level. And that's what matters the most. I think it was Maya Angelou said it. People don't remember what you said. People, re people remember how you make them feel. So if you, if you make people feel good, if you make people feel like you appreciate them, if you love them, if you respect them, that goes a long, long way in your life. Uh, I think a great resource for empathy would be The Four Agreements by Manuel, I forget his last name, but the book is called Four Agreements. A beautiful book, I highly recommend that you get it. So let's summarize that, okay? Your piece of paper on the wall does not fucking matter. What matters is number one, standing out, Okay, becoming that purple cow, becoming that linchpin. Number two is meta learning, understanding how you learn and then understanding the principles of that subject that you're learning. And number three is empathy. Okay, so there you go. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below this video and peace.